Time now for Eyewitness News. Call 12 for action. Thinking about taking a cruise soon? Lawmakers on Capitol Hill are questioning the cruise line industry's top executives about your safety. It comes after some horror stories on board ships made big news. Problem solver Susan Hogan has the story. We've learned lawmakers have introduced a key bill that could help the estimated 21 million Americans expected to set sail on a cruise ship this year. And there's the smoke. Jackie Harlan and her daughter Caitlin say they'll never forget their family vacation three years ago. A fire on board their Carnival cruise ship, the Splendor, left them and more than 3,000 passengers stranded at sea for four days without electricity or working toilets. The shaking and then when we went outside and, you know, with the power going down and then going outside and looking and seeing the black smoke. On Capitol Hill, the CEOs of Carnival and Royal Caribbean testified about safety issues, saying their cruise lines adopted a passenger bill of rights in May and upgraded their fleets. The safety and security of our guests is not only important to us, but our very success relies upon it. In February, an engine fire left the Carnival cruise ship Triumph without power in the Gulf of Mexico. And a year and a half ago, another Carnival ship, the Costa Concordia, capsized off the Tuscan coast, killing 32 people. Over the last five years, there have been 63 fires on board cruise ships and a total of 44 cruise-related collisions. The culture of safety that Americans expect, as they should, is clearly not always a priority for cruise lines. Senator Jay Rockefeller introduced a new bill to improve passenger safety. It would make more information available about all crimes allegedly committed on cruise ships and create a victim advocate position. We trust these people with our lives. You know, we're, we're at their mercy. Jackie hopes Congress will take action to help prevent nightmare vacations like hers. The proposed bill, the Cruise Passenger Protection Act, would also create a toll-free hotline for consumer complaints and give passengers a clear summary of their cruise contracts. Royal Caribbean says it will report all allegations of crime on its website. That started August 1st. And if you have a consumer problem you need help solving, contact our Call 12 for Action Center Monday through Thursday from 11 until 1, hotline 228-1850. I'm problem solver Susan Hogan. Eyewitness News.